men bitter bonding right there's this um no we we're not in vegas yet darling a wednesday we'll all be together that's our first day together um you know i wanted to just say a few words about this before i pass the mic um, it's something that that has been growing, as you see, it first started out as, no, men just need a place where they can talk because men never had a place to talk before. I never understood that. Um, I never understood that excuse for the behavior I've seen online from men. Um, I'm not going to use the not all some sign. If it applies to you, it does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And if it doesn't apply to you and you still choose to get offended, fuck off. Right. That's how we're doing it tonight. That's how we're coming tonight. Just FYI. So if it doesn't apply to you, let it fly. Right. You can say something about women. If it doesn't apply to me, I'm gonna let it fly. That's how I do things. OK, so I advise you do the same. If not, you could come up and argue about it. The link is in the chat. So there's this trend that I've seen online where men are literally bitter bonding. These men are very, very bitter about relationships, be it a, a baby mama, a woman that's taking them to court for child support, the woman that cheated on them or their mother that talked to them out like shit throughout their whole youth. Um, that girl that rejected you on, on the four train, the girl that rejected you on the flight. Men are starting a bitter bond um, and we have all kinds of acronyms. They're making all kinds of clubs and I'm it's looking like a sport to me. That's why I asked the question, is woman hating the new sport for men? I see similar behaviors. We've all watched men uh, watch sports. And how do I see similar behaviors? Well, these guys wear jerseys and they have their favorite team. Some just like on sports, some people like the Lakers, some people like the Celtics, right? With these guys, it's like some people like the Kevin Samuels way, some people like the Tate way, but it's all the same sport. I'm also seeing another trend where men, even if the content of the video, and we all try to do that clickbait content, but specifically in this woman hating sport, men, even if that's not what happened in the content, they'll do captions like woman catches in the L, women get destroyed. <laughs> women can't win this debate, right? So they lure men in with that, oh, in hopes to see a woman get destroyed or dragged or not winning a debate. Seeing a woman catch an L, whether it's verbally or physically, seems to be turning men on more and more and more. As you guys know, I did Access Vegas with Michael Sartain and Rolo Tomasi. And Rolo Tomasi has spoken about People are in the chat, men specifically, requesting that the women on the panels get dragged. Or they're telling Michael Sartain and Rolo Tomasi, you're too easy on the women. So it's literally like a gladiator mentality where these men are in the chat begging for blood, begging to see women put in their place, begging to see women get dragged and destroyed. So how is that not a sport okay we have groups getting together we have them cheering on we have them wearing the jerseys of their favorite team we have them making up acronyms you have s y b s m we got which is save yourself black man we got mctow you know men going their own way we got the red pill we got this pill we got that pill and it's all under the umbrella of getting back at women because now men have a place to talk about women because their hands were tied for centuries because these evil women were running the world and not letting them speak in barbershops or at bars or in the locker room these women weren't letting them speak and then youtube happened and now all the men can speak and say it with their chest so is woman hating the new sport and i will pass the mic mm -hmm.